Have faith. Live again. When it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. It's a boy. Hi, Noah. Noah! Hi, Noah. Oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Good morning. You're listening to Half Faith Lab again, and it starts right now. How is that, Daddy? It was good. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Half Faith Let It Begin. I can't believe it, but <laughs> we're in the last weeks of uh, of uh, January, right? I can't believe it. Full week, anyway. Uh, today's January 23rd, Tuesday, 2024, and uh, this is going to be a two-parter. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for your kind words and your prayers um, for two things, for my upcoming surgery on Friday, um, and also for everyone reaching out to me about yesterday's episode with Dr. E regarding you know how I struggle with my weight. Um, I want to thank you for that. Um, it meant a lot. Well, tomorrow is a very special day. Tomorrow, um, we find out. Uh, not we find out. What am I talking about? <laughs> Let me do this all over again. I'm sorry. I just so um, I can't believe where the time has gone. Tomorrow, we celebrate uh, Noah's birthday. He'll be two years old already. Can you believe this? And uh, I guess when I was saying we find out, that's where I was going with this episode. Uh, as this is part one of Noah's celebration, um, I remember, you know, we all remember when, if you have kids, you all remember when you first were told that you were pregnant, you know, you and your, and your partner and your wife and your, your husband, or, you know, you, you remember the day that you guys were told you were going to have a kid when Ariel came into the world. Um, we already knew that it was a girl. Uh, by accident, because I accidentally looked at the, the sheets, and uh, but um, we were excited, you know, we were prepared, and of course, you never prepared for after the baby comes into the world, all the stuff that comes with it. There's no manual. I don't care what any books that you read. There's just there's never truly a full manual to describe how it is to be a parent. But it, it, it was a joy. It was a complete joy, and uh, you know, for the next three years. We, we felt like we were we were set. And then one day, my wife says, guess what? We're pregnant again. And I said to my wife, I says, I just have this feeling. It's going to be a boy. I just know it is. You know, uh, my sister Leanne uh, has the only boy right now in our family. And there's tons of nieces. Uh, we have just, uh, we all produce girls except... My sister, you know, God bless her. She produced an amazing young man, uh, Amari. He's awesome, strapping young man, and honored that he's the first Santana boy. And uh, as we got ready, um, and we got closer to uh, our due date, we realized that it was an opportunity for us to know what the sex of the baby was. And I remember saying to Rachel, my wife, I said, you know. We got to look. We just got to look, you know, because if it's a boy, we got to be prepared. If it's a girl, we got plenty of clothes, you know, and um, sure enough, it's a boy. And, you know, and we originally had Noah's name uh, picked out if it was going to be a boy the first time we were pregnant. Um, and of course, it was a girl. So we had Ariel and then we always just loved that name. We, 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 we explored all different opportunities, you know, but we just really loved Noah. I think the other uh, second uh, second place for us was, I think it was Liam. And uh, but yeah, we went with uh, we went with uh, Noah, and I'm so grateful. And and uh, yeah, so that's that's where I want to leave us today, uh, because tomorrow is more of a celebration, and uh, I'm gonna share some new stuff with you and. But I wanted to take this opportunity to 
to just say thank you to everybody because you guys um, constantly are are there for me when I need you more than you ever ever know. Um, and when I hit that record button, I'm always at peace. And and I I know a lot of it has to do with my faith. And I know God is with me. And I know all of you are with me. And um, I'm just hoping and praying that if you all need prayer, please feel free to reach out to me. I have no problem praying. I want to give a, a prayer shout out uh, to a friend of the family named Wanda, who lost um, who lost her husband. We, um, yeah, you know, she called me and I was able to pray with him. And about 20 or 30 minutes later, he went on to be with the Lord. Um, and sometimes when you celebrate, one person celebrating one thing, another person is is mourning another. But as I stated in the prayer with him, we're not going to mourn him. We're going to celebrate his life. And um, and that's where I leave you this morning. Um, no matter how bad things get, no matter how hard things are, always remember the glory that we have. And that is the glory of breathing air and being alive and being with our family and our friends. Tomorrow, celebration of Noah's birthday. He'll be two. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you have given us. We know, Lord, that each and every day is not promised. We know tomorrow is not guaranteed. What we do know is that your love for us is just amazing. We thank you, Lord, for always being a part of our lives, for always being there with us. We pray and lift up in prayer every single person that is awaiting test results. We pray for my father, who is waiting for results about a tumor. We pray for my surgery, for a removal of a tumor on Friday. We pray for Douglas, for Melody, for Dylan, for Mansa, for Yesenia, for Carol, for Joe, for Jim. We pray for Nick and his family. We lift up in prayer our co-workers and colleagues. We pray for forgiveness and understanding. We lift up in prayer all of our government officials. May they get along and figure out what they want to do so we can all move forward. We lift up in prayer our aunts and uncles, our nieces and nephews, our brothers and sisters, our grandparents, our cousins, and our parents. We continue to lift up in prayer our churches and ministries, our consistories, our elders and deacons, our pastors. We pray for mentors, people like Ralph, who mentored me my entire early years of my life. We lift up in prayer all of the bosses out there that try to make hard decisions with what they've got to work with. And finally, we pray for our military personnel, foreign and domestic, firefighters, EMTs, first responders, police, fire and rescue. We lift you all up. And we pray for hospitals, nurses and doctors and specialists. And Lord, we ask you to pray for this virus and viruses to go away. There's so much that we need to just heal in this world. We need your help, Lord. And we ask you this in your precious name as we continue to lift up in prayer Tony and her family. We pray for understanding, wisdom, and guidance. And we pray for Dr. E, who has always been there for me, and for Brian, for John and Liz and their families. For those that have lost a job and are seeking new ones. For those that are dealing with mental illness and depression, we pray for you this morning. May God be with each and every one of you this day as we leave you with the words that only you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil, for yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith, let it begin.
Thank you for listening to Half Faith for Begin. We'll be back tomorrow.